right, where are my possible cancers at? Welcome back to Unpossible Cancers. How you guys feeling? Okay, let's get right into your energy. Okay, so you're not letting any closed doors stop you at this time. You're really about you, you, you're about your business. You feeling? I feel like this hopeful spirit, like um, very in a happy state of mind. All right, maintaining happy jubilee. Yes. Okay. Every day, you know, you go through your emotions, but I feel you guys very upbeat, optimistic. There you go. Right? So you're not letting any closed doors stop you at this time. But let's see what's the team here with you guys. Let's see what the tea. Because you guys not playing. You guys, <laughs> you guys got a smile on your face, but yeah, don't fuck around. Don't fuck around. Okay? All right. Let's go. Some of you guys may be cooking at this time, I heard. Love to cook big Sunday meals. Okay. <laughs> That's why some of you guys are happy. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. What's the tea? What's the tea? Head in the clouds. Okay. So, somebody has their head in the clouds for you, but somebody's thinking about you. But, again, this reminiscing, but happier times. Very happy. Okay. Thinking about, you know, your childhood, you growing up, thinking about people, thinking about everything, but happy moments. But somebody definitely has their head in the clouds for you. And I'm going to see who this is. Looking you up. Yes, let's stay happy. They, yeah. But acting cold. Yeah. What I said. But you're hustling. Okay. Um, inside scoop. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. But you guys are very cold-hearted at this time. You, some of you guys are in a connection that you feel that the love, the love is very cold. Very cold. Okay, but I do see you guys very blunt and very straightforward. All right? Head in the clouds. Like, what to do, what to do. But, again, maintaining, like, at ease with your situation. You may be dealing with a player, but right now you guys are hustling. You guys are on the grind right now. All about your money. You're not going to fuck up my money. What I say, you got to be careful with you. You're happy, but you're keeping a smile on your face, but be careful with you. Be careful with somebody calling ACS on you. Some of you guys may be having a problem with your children. Be careful with accidents with your kids, okay? Or, yeah, or the school, your kids, you know. But very cold in a relationship. You, some of you guys may be going to court with your kids, uh, for your kids, some type of child support, some type of divorce, Okay, but fighting over kids, all right? Kids may be taken away, and yeah, this is crazy, but somebody's getting photo proof inside school, looking you up. Okay, let's see what's going on here, but girl fight, what I said. Arguments arising, girl fights, arguing with people, but some of you guys may be boxers or taking up boxing, but uh, having to do with a player, okay? Somebody was playing in a relationship. This person may play basketball, some type of sports, work out, Okay. Yes, this person is very immature, maybe younger than you, you may be younger than them, but very immature spirit I'm picking up. But definitely a girl fight. All right, let's, 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 because girl fight, oh, just a fight. Just be careful with altercations, but I see that you're just ready to like, just don't fuck with me. Okay. Somebody's trying to get photo proof on you. You may be going through some legal actions right now, but somebody definitely trying to get photo proof. Some of you guys may have on this nail color, um, some, a dark, what is this? A dark brown purple i don't know this is a dark color <laughs> some of you guys may love but you guys are like like don't don't play with me okay but see dark nail polish you guys may be getting photo proof as well doing your research on somebody as well okay a player that was playing with your heart but now you're very cold-hearted very cold-hearted this person may be having problems in their situation but somebody has their head in their clouds for you possibly a player that was playing pull, trying to pull your heartstrings okay let's see what's going on here let me get this deck. So numerous of people. But you're hustling right now. You're all about your money. Some of you guys may be strippers out there. Doing some type of online business. But bossing up. Yeah. Ace of Wands. This may have to do with somebody that's still passionate and still in love with you. Um, be careful with finding pictures or people having pictures of you, but I do see somebody taking your pictures off the internet and storing them in their phone, okay? Be careful. Yes. 
Yeah, this is somebody that's still holding on to this connection. But there's a lot of people, you have a lot of competitive energies around you. And that's the truth, okay? Especially at work, okay? But I see you guys hustling, okay? You guys are trying to save money at this time. But holding back feelings. Some of you guys may be pregnant, all right? But this is somebody that's in love with you, that's passionate about you. You may meet this person at work, or you may have been fooling around with this person at work, and they're trying to get inside scoop about your life. But you have a lot of jealousy and envious eyes over you pertaining to work as well. But they are fixated on you. Somebody can't get you yet, but you close out this cycle. This person possibly had a family or some type of business. This person is possibly a boss and have a lot of money. But I see some type of legal actions around work. Like you win a large sum of money. Okay, but I do see promotion as well, but lots and lots of money, okay, and traveling as well, traveling as well, the magician, okay, you're manifesting what you want out of your life, but this person is trying to manifest you back, but this person is a trickster, Gemini, this person is a trickster, likes to play mind games, very manipulative, immature, can be immature, younger type energy. Likes to act innocent, but likes to play a lot of mind games and think they're smarter than people. Yeah, I don't see you in communication. I see that you're very silent right now, working in silence. But you may be in a family dynamic having to do with finances that though you're holding on to it. But there's conflict within this relationship. Trying to work on yourself, trying to work on things. Trying to bring back the passion from trying to bring back the love, but there is somebody here that keeping an eye on this. But I don't see I see lack of communication within your own relationship for some of you guys. You feel like there's some sneaky shit going on, but there's somebody that wants to take a leap of faith towards you, but I do see you guys moving. Okay, but you're juggling right now. You're juggling a lot of things right now. You're you're really up in your head. But this is somebody that's keeping an eye on you that fell in love with you. Okay? They want to come in and fight for your love, but at the same time, it's like your fuck is your your fuck fuckus. <laughs> fuckus fucking shit going on here. <laughs> but um you're focused on your family and your finances at this time. Okay, yeah, this person wants to send you a, a message of love. This person, again, may be younger than you. But you guys are not in communication with this person. This person is trying to manifest your energy back. They want to work on things with you. This person that wants to come in and fight for your love. Be expected to hear from this person soon. You guys may be required to move for a job. I see this person wants to have a family with you as well. This person may have a family of their own and planning on closing out this cycle to come and bring you a message of love as well. But a lot of people playing mind games, try to play mind games with you, especially when it comes to business and work. So be careful with who you collaborate with. Okay? But you're very passionate about what you love to do. And I see a lot of money for you guys. What is that? I see you guys traveling the world, but you have a lot of competition around you, a lot of jealous eyes. Okay, be careful with girl fight. Okay, who has their head in their clouds? I want to see who this player is as well. Yeah, ten of swords. Somebody that is, it's a lot of pain here. You may be in a lot of pain. They may be in a lot of pain. Yeah. Nine of Cups. This person may be drinking a lot. You may be drinking a lot. This person, you're their wish fulfillment. It's like a mutual, but it's like giving up what you desire. 
but still maintaining happy for your kids, for your family, you know, for work, to move on. But you feel heartbroken, backstabbed, heartbroken, betrayed by people, but your wishes are going to be fulfilled, yeah, in a marriage. But this is a secret. You're silently suffering. You may be having a lot of arguments and fights in your relationship. You're going to take a leap of faith to move forward. You want to reunite with someone. Somebody wants to reunite with you. Yeah, possibly a third-party situation. Okay? The half friend is Taurus with a king of wands. All right? Yeah. This may have started out sexual between you and this person or this person. You may be finding out infidelity in your own marriage that was a secret, but keeping it a secret. But your husband or wife may be an alcoholic as well, drinking a lot. There's a lot of arguments and fights surrounding uh, alcohol, finances, children. I heard playing games, playing because this person is a narcissist. This person likes to be a player in their own connection. The player. Okay? Yeah. But I do see you guys meeting somebody new. Possibly an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus. You guys may go to church and be looked up. This person may be looked up as uh, like a high standing. A lot of people may know you guys, basically. Okay? But I do see you want to take a leap of faith that you want to move away from this, secretly move away from this marriage, this heartbreak. Yeah, but you're planning carefully. You're very you're very cold and blocked off in your own connection. But you're taking your time right now trying to find spiritual balance. Trying to find balance within yourself. Easy does it. Stay, stay staying spiritually grounded, but very disconnected in your own connection. Very cold connection. Plan it carefully. Building your finances. It's like your heart is not there anymore. Arguing and fighting. Heartbroken. But you're not letting any closed doors stop you. You're going to move forward to your towards your two of cups. This person may live a distance, but I do see true love on the horizon of two of cups. That's walking away from a marriage or you may be walking away or both of you guys but you're walking away and you don't care the obstacles that you're gonna that, that you have to face but there's a true love yeah you're building your strength at this time in isolation you're waiting for some type of communication waiting 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 but you're looking beyond at your future right now this person is waiting for communication from you as well okay but you're moving to common waters your spouse may be suggesting to move to another state, but I see you want to move forward by yourself or to someone else and like vice versa. <laughs> but taking your time, getting your money right. Yeah, a lot of arguing and fight. So if they're in a connection, they're arguing and fighting as well. But within your own connection about kids, bills, lack of empathy, lack of understanding, lack of the drinking, the drugs. Some of you guys may be in a toxic relationship. Again, this person is a player for some of you guys. They're, you're married to a player for some of you guys. Or vice versa. But, yeah. Somebody may be accusing you of cheating as well. Okay? But it's hidden. If you are, if you did, it's hidden. The way you feel, you hide it. I don't blame you. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, but deep down inside, you have a soul connection with somebody else. So you're very guarded and very closed off in a connection or vice versa. But guarding oneself and planning carefully to move away, to move. Somebody wants you to take a leap of faith with them. They want you to come towards them. They want to move away with you. They feel this connection too. They want to reunite with you, but this is all a secret. This person may be married too. Okay, all right, all right, all right, Cancers. We're not going down this road again. We're not going down this road again. So your head is in the clouds, but maintaining happy, doing your motherly, fatherly duties, but really want to reunite with someone, desperately want to reunite, getting your money straight, but 
you know, responsibilities, responsibilities. Okay. Yeah, the player fell in love. Coming to fight for your love still. Miss your sex, miss your love, miss your conversation, miss your touch. They see true happiness with you. But you left this person out in the cold and cut it off. But you still can't get this person out of your mind. You're very blunt and straightforward. Really up in your head. But this player fell in love. And you fell in love too. But this person possibly ghosted you or you ghosted them. Or both. But I don't see you in communication for some of you guys with this person. Okay? Yeah. So you guys feel like in your own connection it's ice cold. But trying to restore happiness and trying to bring back happiness and the connection. But you guys are very straightforward. But with the Seven of Cups here, imagine a, a happy life with this other person. <laughs> this person, too, is crazy about you. Mm -hmm. Wow, some, this player fell in love with you guys. Yeah, this is a missed opportunity of love coming back around. They're still holding on to this, and that's the truth. They're coming to speak their truth, want to apologize, want to send you a message of love. Going back and forth in their mind because you guys are not in communication. And this may be a family dynamic. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. This person is coming back. They want to come back. Wheel of Fortune is Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Queen of Swords is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You may be back and forth whether you want to talk to this person or not as well. Really thinking, this person thinks about marrying you, happiness. You may be thinking the same thing, but the feeling is mutual. But for some of you guys, it's like, it's a family. This is a family here. And you and owning up to your responsibility. So blocking off communication at this time until the time is right. You're waiting for like the perfect timing to like, but planning carefully. You back and forth in your mind. Back and forth. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So right now you're maintaining happy. Like nothing. But you're planning carefully. Get your money right. Okay. Yes. Some of you guys feel lack of finances. Some of you guys feel lack of finances within your own home. Okay. Let's see what's the scoop. Excuse me. Yeah. Obsession. See? Bam. Bam. God, yeah, you had a breaking point. I did see that. But change is coming. New Year's, New Year's, New You. Okay, let's see. Someone is obsessed with you. I told you. Look at you up searching. Where are you? Where are you? Where's my cancer? <laughs> you may be doing the same thing, but just watching. I just feel like this eyes. Studying. Yeah, the high priest is this person is remaining hidden. Some of you guys may be getting tarot readings or insight to find out information on the other person. You might be finding out your spouse was cheating and getting insight as well. Okay. Yeah, but you're 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 moving in silence. But this person has deep regrets, can't get you out of their mind. Okay, you guys may be tower reading tower readers as well. But this person is definitely getting insight but remaining hidden and their feelings hidden. But deep down inside they have deep regrets and waiting for some type of communication from you. Okay, but right now you guys are working on some of you guys are single and abundant, but this person uh, may be single, okay? And you may be in a marriage or vice versa. You may be uh, single and they're in a marriage but this person wants some type of reunion with you as well but this is surrounding a marriage a long-term commitment but you building your strength and working hard to close the cycle out whoa this is fucking deep again but this person is waiting waiting for some type of communication waiting for you to become single if you're in marriage or you're waiting for them to become single you may know this person from work this may be a leo this may be uh pisces cancer scorpio virgo okay but definitely i'd 
see you guys marrying this person eventually if you guys ever do get together because this is like a two of cups this person can't get over you this person cannot get over you but you're waiting for the perfect time to strike so you're not making any sudden moves or any hasty moves okay because you have big responsibilities for some of you guys out there okay house because ten of pentacles is house dog cat kids you know marriage so marriage but i do see some type of engagement but I do see you closing out this cycle as well. But the world. So self-love, self-care, healing. Okay. Maintaining at this time. Working on things and within a marriage at this time. But looking beyond with your future and staying silent. Following your intuitions. But some of you guys may have found out about infidelity in your marriage. Okay. And, make it, and, and making the decision to close out this cycle again you're concerned about your children because i did see child services and you guys but you guys plan it carefully mm -hmm. building your strength you're very strong you're gonna move forward with strength but building building up your money and i do see you guys single and abundant but i do see you guys getting married again so you guys may go to church or be looked up as uh, a spiritual being enlightened a counselor that people go to okay some type of witch doctor for some of you guys okay but yeah this person is obsessed you obsessed I, yo this is yo all right let's keep going Cassis. let's keep going but i do see something picking it up new year's new you so making the, your new year's resolution yes look life purpose let it releasing it to the divine following finding your life purpose getting a new job okay you're hired all right collaborating with people again work 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 lots and lots of money but putting into things with scorpio you may be dealing with a scorpio but something has come to a complete end perfect timing to strike yeah but be careful with catfishing and blackmailing whoa yeah 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 okay okay what the fuck let's see Pay attention to 222 two, two. the time now is 222 two, two. some of you guys may be born july 2nd july 6th july 4th Okay, 22 years old, 24 years old, 26, the star. This may be an Aquarius, a magician that somebody that likes to play mind games. So, um, there is somebody here that is making it seem like you're talking to... Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me, because I'm picking up some energy here. Hold on. The hangman, the hermit. There is somebody here, right? They're trying to manifest this back. Again, photo proof came out inside scoop. A lot of, a lot of looking up, okay? Hermit is Virgo. The hangman is Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius. There is somebody here that's really depressed and lonely without you and wants to see 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 you as hopeful they're hopeful that you take them back or they're hopeful so they're pretending to or they want to see what's going on in your relationship in your connection so they're pretending they're making a fake profile and laying low secretly making a fake profile because they see you as a star they want to come back to the star to the one who heals them to the one that they are meant to be with this is how this person feels okay so this person is playing a mind game with the magician, trickster, creating a fake profile just to keep an eye on you to see what you're doing, okay? To keep up with your life, to keep up with what's going on in your household. Because I don't see you in communication with this person. This is crazy. They're infatuated with you, this person. They feel that you will give them the communication that they're looking for by doing this. So you guys are celebrity status already. Again, have your old TikTok, social media base, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. But working in silence at this time. Okay? But this person is hopeful that you take that... You know, they're, they're just happy with the little conversation that they're going to get from you by doing this. They're hoping that it works. 
they're hoping that this catfishing works. But be careful with online dating as well. Okay, use discernment when doing online dating because I do see a trickster here. All right? That sees you as somebody that they can get, get, uh, use. Okay, so be careful with that. This person may be old, not as young as they say they are. They may act young, but they're not as young as they say they are. They're, this is an older person. Okay? Mm-hmm. They see you as young, vibrant, out there. Yeah. So just be careful. And blackmail. What is this blackmail? So somebody's saying if you leave the connection that they're going to tell people this, they're going to tell people that about you. Yeah. What is this blackmail? Yeah. The emperor. Husband. Uh, boss. The boss, you may be sleeping with the boss for some of you guys, trying to blackmail you. If you tell, if people find out, or if you say somebody has something to somebody, you're going to lose your job. But I see a new job. This could be your husband, your wife, because this is the energy. Okay? But you're at a breaking point. Yeah, this may be in a marriage with the King of Pentacles. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries. Taurus, but there is somebody that's this. This may be a same sex relationship, but there is somebody here that you in a long term commitment with that possibly find out you was cheating or they was cheating, but they're saying, like, oh, I'm gonna tell people this and that. Yes, a secret was, yeah, telling exposing you, exposing you to like church or to like people, yeah, but to like church. This person may be like a pastor, deacon, some type of. High looked up spiritual guide. And if you guys cheated, they're going to say like, oh yeah, they're going to go to the congregation and tell people that they you cheated on. They're going to blackmail you. Okay. And I see the kids too. They're going to use the kids against you. But this person has a lot of secrets too that you were exposed to. So you guys are looking up each other looking up information on each other be careful that this is not your significant other catfishing you as well just to find out information just be careful with your online at this time this person is very devious <laughs> but i do see you guys become a single leaving a marriage yep leaving a marriage become a single yeah okay all right this all right cancels let me get my anonymous somebody is scared that you don't want them anymore you don't love them like they love you yeah play pretend a lot of people play and pretend but you're still dealing with your inner demons at this time. And family matters. Yes. Okay. Somebody's playing pretend in a family matter. You may be playing pretend. They may be playing pretend. Yeah. A lot of childhood traumas here. But torture. Dealing with your inner demons. But you feel tortured every day staying in this situation. You may be sexually abused as a child. But your kids are in a situation where there's argument and fighting. And not you guys are not getting along. Okay, you just want to run away from the situation. All right. Yeah, but you got a secret admirer. They they stay in the silence, but you're working in silence. You're in solitude. They're on their way. But somebody who ghosted you want to come back around. Okay. You may ghost to that, but you're overworked at this time. You're just focused on work. Work, 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 work. But overworked. Okay. Overwork, but going through your transformation, you may be, yeah, but I do see courtship, maybe a different culture, but somebody's coming in with their communication, somebody wants to take you out on a date, 
Oh, this may be, again, different cultures. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but definitely courtship is coming in. Who's the secret admirer? You're waiting for the perfect time to strike. Yo, I don't blame you. Because this is some bullshit right here. The star. This is somebody that's already in the limelight. They're being very patient about it. Yeah, this is somebody that has a lot of money. This is like somebody that has that has a lot of money, that has a lot of accolades. Some of you guys may be in the limelight, stars already, but their heart lies up when they see you. This may be a Sagittarius, Aquarius, but this person is coming with a lot of fucking money. Okay? To claim victory. Yeah, this is an emperor. This is an emperor. They're a hard worker. You Again, this may be a supervisor, a boss, director, CEO, CFO, but this is big dick, big click energy. Okay, coming in. This may be a divorcee. Okay. I see promotion for you guys as well. But this person is the shit that's coming in. They have the shit together. Okay. This person is coming in to make you a big proposition to move in, engagement, marriage. But this person is coming legit. This person is well-established, have their own house, own shit, own shit, okay? Maybe older than you as well. But... They remain stone cold. You don't know that they like you, that they're your secret admirer. Because they hide it well, but every time they see you, their heart lights up, but they remain silent. They don't know if you're going to, yeah, they don't know if you're going to like them. Yeah, they don't know, because I see the two of swords here. They feel like you're going to reject them. So they don't say anything. They just admire you from afar. But this is a boss. Okay? This is a boss. And you may know them from work. Okay? But everything is on its way. The other person, this boss, wow. You got a lot of energies coming towards you. Cancers. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, definitely you guys are light workers out there. Some type of oracles. Being called to, to Yeah, Dark Night of the Soul. So you guys may be going through the Dark Night of the Soul. You feel a you feel chained in a situation, chained to a job, chained to a relationship, you know, kids, bills, like yeah, but yeah, but you feel like sometimes you feel crazy. But, yeah, but I do see you guys moving. And a soulmate is coming in. Okay? Mm -mm. All right? But keep going. But you still maintain it happy. But I do see you purchasing a home. Again, your soulmate is coming in. And I do see you doing big things. Okay? But perfect timing. But right now, with the dark night of the soul, this is not perfect timing. Okay? Let me see. I'm going to see who's this soulmate coming in. Yeah, inner child healing, what I said. So still healing from the past, still reflecting on the past, okay? But you're coming through it, all right? But I do see you guys moving on up, all right? Some of you guys may have the natural look. Ah, <sighs> you guys, yeah, but this may be an older, younger dynamic, like I said. But somebody may be dealing with their own inner child healing. Or having problems with their kids as well. But I do see a divorce. Some of you guys are going through a divorce. Okay? But feeling lost and insecure for some of you guys. Yeah. Five of cups. But I see your energy creeping out. Queen of cups. Again, some of you guys may have felt this connection with somebody else. 
but due to your status, you couldn't move forward. So although you're maintaining happy and doing what you have to do in your current relationship, you still feel sad and deep regrets that you had to, that you're missing a soulmate. It's possibly a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio like yourself, but with the with the with your energy coming out, you guys are mothers and fathers out there. So you had to let go of something, which was your true love, right? It's pretty it's pretty hard this is pretty heartbreaking but i do see you moving like planning carefully to get your own place to f to get a divorce but you have a lot of repressed emotions but at the same time you're up in your head and focused on happier times and what makes you happy your kids your family and you know but your love resides somewhere else for some of you guys or your spouse loves resides for but just not happy at the point where you at at this at this point where you at so soulmate it's like missing someone or just having regrets with someone but the person that you're with you know that it, this is not your soulmate okay tell me more about this soulmate yeah you have a sleepless nights nine of cups some of you guys may be drinking a lot. But the Nine of Cups is like somebody that somebody else that you desire. A lot of arguments within your connection. Yeah, truth being revealed. Who is this person? Again, this may be younger. A younger person. But then you have somebody on top of this younger person. It may be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But this person may be younger, but not really financially stable. But this person, but again, some of you guys may be married, okay? Or in a long-term commitment or vice versa. Like, this person, but I do see you traveling, but waiting for the per perfect time. But you're really up in your head, and you want to communicate with this person. You guys are bored in a marriage, but very blunt and outspoken within that connection. Somebody's waiting for the perfect opportunity to come and make your offer as well. But you're waiting. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting out your options. But again, it's like you're waiting for a miracle, a sign. <laughs> Just give me a sign. But a lot of inner conflicts with yourself too. Fighting your inner demons and if you could turn back time. Yeah, if you could turn back time. Yeah, that's how you think if I could turn back time. I would be with this, I would, you know, but we have to learn the lessons first, but your soulmate is coming stable. They come in, they don't have much now, but I do see you guys getting married with this person, earth sign. This person is going to be very stable and reliable. I tell you that much. Yeah. And I do see you moving with this person as well, but. Right now it's delays, okay? A few delays. Yeah, fear, face the fear. Okay, some of you guys are fearful of leaving a long-term connection or filing for that divorce. Fearful of what people would think or your children and yeah, you're just fearful to step out front. But you see, this card was cut wrong. So Spirit is saying, fight your fear. But look, look what's, look what's next door. Okay? So don't worry about what you don't, you know. Don't worry about, you got to fight your fear. That's the nine of swords, slaying your fear. You're really up in your head. Okay? Really overthinking this. Yeah, clarity right under your nose. Getting the, in, the information that you need at this time. But somebody's digging for dirt. But you're digging for dirt too. 
or somebody else. So you have a reason to leave for some of you guys. You have a reason to leave for some of you guys. Significance, you be you. And that's what you're doing, okay? But you stand out from, from the crowd and you're well protected, all right? But you're not scared of the competition. You know that there's a lot of envious, jealous eyes over you. And I do see a lot of success when you honor your gifts, okay? But you, you're, not, you're not really uh, concerned of the competition, okay? It's like what you can do. You don't care what other people can do, all right? guys may be tired out there nurture take your licks okay somebody's coming in very nurturing very caring again all the younger dynamic all right will take care of you again i do see pregnancy but you're a nurturer but you feel like you have taken your licks but no more okay no more you're yeah yeah you're, you're getting your strength back aloof you see seek non-attachment this is how you guys feel in a connection or with somebody but there is somebody that's coming in that's going to tease you Okay, possibly from a boss that you don't pay any mind to, that teases you, but you, this person feels like you're not attracted to them, but they, yeah, but reward. Pay it forward. Be prepared for a lot of blessings from the universe, but this person is older. They don't feel like you're attracted to them, but this person is well established. Okay, I'm just saying, this person is well established, but you're like, hmm. But you don't seek attachment at this time. And even if you're in a connection, you just, you don't feel it. It's like cold. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, five of cups. Somebody is missing you. You may be a widow out there. Uh, you may be missing somebody that passed away dear to your heart. But a lot of grief, a lot of sorrow, a lot of drinking. But definitely your two of cups is coming in. Okay, a soulmate. You could have many of soulmates. But really, um, somebody in, in deep regret over you. And you may be feeling this too. Yeah, king of swords. You guys are very logical, very direct, very blunt. Some of you guys may be supervisors out there already. Okay, but with the King of Swords, um, some type of divorce. You guys may be going through a divorce or finalizing a divorce, but you was dealing with somebody that was very cold-hearted, very cold. Possibly, um, yeah, but just very cold-hearted. Somebody that was harsh with words, didn't know how to speak. Okay, yeah. Very deceptive energy here with the Seven of Swords. Very deceptive. Lying, cheating, a using spirit, using you. Okay, it's their way or no way like that, okay? But with the nine of wands, you're determined, you're a warrior, but you're wounded, but you're a warrior. You're determined to move forward, okay? Unblocking your heart, but spirit is unblocking. The universe is unblocking your blessings at this time and paying it forward to you for being so patient, being so kind, being so understanding to other people. But patience is required, okay? But definitely you're going to get your spark back, all right? Yes, but there's somebody that is very, uh, misses your, uh, there's a lot of chemistry with you and this person that's coming in. There's going to be a lot of chemistry, okay? Yeah, four stories, but you're taking a break from the world, but somebody's trying to connect with you on the 5D. Somebody's waiting to communicate with you, okay? And you, them, for some of you guys. All right, yeah, thoughts, 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 up in your head, weighing out your options, waiting on the perfect time. Uh, you may have a lot of options in terms of work as well, but somebody possibly treating you as an option in your own connection. Take it how it resonates, okay? Yeah, Queen of Cups, this is your energy. You're going to get your spark back. You're getting your strength back. You're very defensive. You're very defensive. But Three of Cups, some type of reunion, some type of third-party situation, coming out of a marriage for some of you guys, putting all your love into yourself again, okay? Taking off the ring. I just took off the ring. It was bothering me. So some of you guys, your wedding ring may be bothering you. Okay? You just, the marriage, the whole shit may be bothering you. You just want to go. You just want to set yourself free okay all right let's see the conclusion here
Yeah, but somebody, yeah, Queen of Wands. You may have been the other woman. They may have been the other woman. You may have found out about, I mean, woman, man. You may have found out about infidelity, but you're all about action. You're, you're, you're coming into the Queen of Wands, King of Wands type energy, fiery energy, Aries, your Sagittarius. You may have that in your chart, but you're all about action, all about building, all very confident, very sexy. You're getting your oomph back. Okay, moving forward. But some of you guys may have been in a third party situation where you're with the other person, they were the other something was found out. Okay. Yes, in a connection. Yeah. Yeah, you see? But you're right on top of it. Either you found out about somebody else or somebody else found out about you. But you guys are keeping an eye on each other. So if your spouse was cheating the, uh, the person that they was cheating with knows about you and spying on you. And you know about them and spying on them as well. A lot of spying. A lot of spying. But, yeah. Things came to hell with the tower. Kaboom. Shocking events unfolded. A lot of arguments. A lot of fighting. Okay. And, I, yeah. This is leading. This is going to lead to, like, a divorce for some of you guys. Because this person was not who they say they were, and you found out the truth, okay? But you're very quiet, and you're up your head right now, planning carefully. Yeah, but you're very guarded in your own connection, in your own home, if you live with this person. All right, but I do see new opportunities, new doors opening up to you. Yeah, you, you, some of you guys are still holding on to this pain for some of you guys. Okay, but you're dealing with somebody that was unstable and unreliable in your connection. Yeah, death card. This is coming to an end, sign of Scorpio. Yeah, you're very blocked off. This is cut. I don't see any type of communication going on in this connection as well. Lack of communication, lack of empathy, lack of affection, lack of everything. You're very, your feelings are very blocked off with this person. Yeah, you're closing it out. But then, here goes somebody new coming in. King of Cups. Okay. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody that's emotionally available. Somebody that's very, that's in love with you. That has a lot of love to give. Okay. Boss. This is a boss. Okay. With the world card. This person may be known worldwide already. In the limelight with the star and the ace of pentacles. Yes. Okay. Um, this person is very generous. Very loving. Very caring. A nurturer. Like yourself. Possess the same qualities as you do. Perfect match. King, Queen of Cups. King, Queen of Cups. The world card is Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. But stepping out as a new person. Yeah. But new cycle. Yeah. Coming in to make your offer like, hey, do you want to go out on a date? Do you want to get to know each other? You're going to be like, hmm. you're going to have to think about it. But this is what triggered the dark night of the soul. It's the treachery, the lies. The cheating, the love for somebody else, you love somebody else. Possibly, this is the whole, the whole shebang. But still trying to maintain your sanity because sometimes you feel a little crazy, okay? But if you could turn back time, that's how you feel sometimes, all right? But things are gonna be working out in divine timing for you. That's what I heard, okay? To bring you, your soulmate is definitely coming in. Karmic justice. There you go. Yes, definitely karmic justice. Balance is gonna be restored. Okay, wrongs made right. You will be vindicated, getting what you deserve, learning karmic lessons. So this relationship that you're in is all to learn the karmic lesson and to move past it for your true soulmate to come in. Okay, yeah. Clean up. Yeah, you're not cleaning up anybody's mess anymore, but some of you guys may be cleaning up right now. Okay, cleaning your house, but removing negativity out your life. But cleaning up your life, cleaning up your act, but holding people accountable and responsible for their own actions. Sweeping away negative situations, cleaning up your life, decluttering your mind, simplifying your life. Yeah. Going towards your true love. Love offer. What I said, going towards your true love. Being asked out on a date, what I said, possibly for somebody younger, okay? I have heavy earth, heavy water. 
Be an ass god on a date. Love to the next level. Positive new love coming in. A job offer you love. And new job. Yes. A new job. I see promotion too. Yeah, but... Yeah, you're going to weigh out your options. Which one pay more. But I do see you guys doing big things. Okay? Some guys may be tapping into your creativity. Be pregnant at this time. But I do see pregnancy as well. With this new person. That is sad news. Okay? But that's sad news for somebody else. But sad news. You possibly found out somebody close to you passed away. Grandfather, grandmother. Somebody close to you. But sad news. Or disappointing that you found out that your mate cheated on you or vice versa. Okay? Or getting fired from a job. Disappointing message. Not what you wanted to hear. Something to not going in your favor. Inconvenient truth. Okay? Yeah. But everything, you're going to be rebuilding your life. Everything is going to come. Um, you feel like everything is crumbling down at times. But when this new person is going to be... It's going to rebuild everything that you lost. So you're really not losing anything. You'll get rid of the headache. Rebuilding your life after loss. Investing a lot of effort. Ready to take action to improve. Determination and drive. I heard some of you guys may be retiring as well. Or retired. And crystal balls. I could see clearly. <laughs> you see it clear again get an insight you some of you guys may be oracles tower readers or getting tower readings or and this person as well but crystal ball events taking place in the future inner knowing follow your intuitions uh occult and esoteric knowledge step it into your spiritual power yes okay yes yes taking that leap of faith Coming to terms with who you are and what you're being called, following your life purpose. The people you spend the most time with shape who you are. So if you hang around broke people, you're going to be broke. If you hang around alcoholics, you may start drinking. But if you hang around rich, not even rich, but productive people that's going to work and want bigger things in life, you're going to be productive and want bigger things as well. Yeah, next level, be a boss. And I see you being the boss. But you're on some next level shit. But just going through your own little shit right now. Don't worry about it. It's going to be, it's going to be. Okay? You're either about to take your finances to the next level or it's time that you do. If your finances haven't improved yet, you can be certain that they will soon. There's a chance of something extra in the air. It's coming, baby. It's coming. And I see you moving on up. Okay? Student. Going back to school, you may be meeting somebody in school, or this person may be a student or younger than you. This person is studying you, and yes, this person is studying you. Okay, this person may wear glasses, but let's go. Work with a mentor to learn new skills or teach you how to implement your plans. You could be in school to pursue higher education or work for a school district. So some of you guys may already be educators, principals, yeah, some type of influencer or yeah, just educating others okay teach yourself to succeed with money or get a financial advisor to teach you business you're all about business though some of you guys may work in corporates wear suits and ties or just suits okay work from home so you guys may love tea or coffee some of you guys may have a salt and pepper look a beard wear glasses do not be intimidated to enter the world of business you got this consider executive positions becoming a ceo or anything in the corporate world Elevate your awareness and think bigger if you want different results. Somebody is afraid that they, if they come in to, yeah, you're going to get the recognition. Definitely a promotion. Lots and lots of money. Okay? And I do see you guys, entertainers out there. Yeah. But take a control of your life. Okay? Yes. Okay. But, yeah. Recognition. Winning some type of award. Some of you guys may be actors, singers, writers, producers. But, Yeah promotion uh school getting some type of war for school graduating from the academy police academy yeah something along those lines your money is looking good and solid whatever you are working on now will win you the respect of others you could earn a bachelor position or get the recognition you deserve and you're gonna get it entertainer some of you guys maybe play instruments the piano but front and center stage okay going into acting going on auditions but i see you guys making it Put yourself out there and bring out the best in you so you can get noticed. You could be drawn to careers in theater, dancing, music, or any type of entertainment. Is there a talent you could turn into money? 
time to think outside the box and you're focused on that but you got you have love offer coming in you're sweeping away the negativity but this is going to be karmic justice it's a lot of good shit going for you cancers your soulmate is coming in what you're going to do what you're going to do yeah what you're going to do what you're going to do spirit say just say yes Again, this may have been a third-party situation, but just say yes. Just say yes and embrace the possibilities and embrace what's to come. Okay? All right. Let me get some of these. Yeah, but if you could turn back time, what would you change? But... Hey, listen, everything is happening in divine timing, perfect timing. Angel number 444, pay attention to that, but you see clear. The water is clear and calm. New beginnings and opportunity. Whatever you're currently working on will contribute to your happiness. Stay the course and enjoy the process. And that's what you're doing. You're working with a smile on your face. Although you feel this void and this pain and you know that, you know that. Divine is going to bring you what you need in divine timing. And yeah, 369. Some of you guys found it, finding balance. Okay. Be careful with back problems, I heard. But dancing, ballerina, letting it flow at this time. Universe energy. You need to take the right actions in order to make your world a better place. Do not let fears and worries mar your progress. So if you're not happy in that relationship or in that job, Spirit is saying, take a leap of faith. Don't let fear hold you back. But I do see you being a boss and doing it next level shit. Okay? Right now you just... Okay, two. Okay. Right now you just... Easy does it. Okay? Easy does it. Depending on your situation. How... The severity of your situation. Zodiac number three. Sagittarius. You may be meeting a Sagittarius. But... Force and matter. You have a great sense of responsibility. See? I told you, depending on your situation, but responsibility is at the forefront. You lead a disciplined life with certain rules and principles. You are also very attractive. You are. <laughs> you are. You are, but break out of that fear of being uh, rules and principles if it's not working out, okay? House 7, Libra, Venus. But Venus is also ruled by Taurus. But balance being restored in your life. Karmic justice. Balance in relationships. The seventh house represents marriage and partnerships of all kinds and issues with relating to other people. And issues with relating to other people. So, again, somebody may be involved with somebody else that you know, you know how that shit goes. You, them, the whole. But balance being restored in your love life your finances but you have to take that fear you have to put your fear aside and go by how you really feel okay be true to your to who you are your feelings okay yeah play again somebody younger than you but play somebody wants to play mind games but uh, somebody's trying to find the right words to say with the pen and paper. I do see you guys signing contracts in terms of like um, promotions and business deals. Okay, but somebody's on the internet really looking at look looking you up. Okay, I am completely engaged in what I do in the here and now. I call it play instead of work. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. So having fun. And what you do. So if you're following your purpose and you're doing what you love, you're never working, basically. I'm going to get one of these and I'm closing out your reading. Cancer. Thank you for your time and thank you for your patience. Nature. Going out in nature more. Interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. Some of you guys may have a farm or be dating someone and, yeah. Growing your own food, I heard. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. So going outdoors more. Taking a mini vacation. Okay? But nature. Maybe connecting with an earth sign as, as well. Or you may have earth in your chart. 
rising moon of venus taurus capricorn virgo okay but yeah this is what i have for you okay but if you could turn back time but you're just going through the motions but i see great things uh, coming around for you all right cancers i love you guys i'm possible you're positive your girl tosh i'm out